Hello everybody, it's Shayna, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you these super adorable Dollar Tree tiered tray craft ideas that anybody can make. Anyway, and if you like that kind of thing, definitely subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on because you have to see these things. They're so cute. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So for this first DIY, you're gonna need some paint. I used Buttercream by Dixie Belle. And then you're gonna need this little palette board from Dollar Tree. And then these two spatulas that come in a pack of four also from Dollar Tree. First, I just painted it really a real rough coat of the buttercream. I mean, like I didn't even try to get a full coverage coat. All right, so if you haven't already guessed it, we're gonna be using those spatulas to make a bunny. The E6000, and I was gonna try to use it on the back there, um, but mine was dried out, so. But I definitely recommend using E6000 as well as hot glue on something like this because the plastic to the wood, it, it kind of tends to like not hold sometimes. But anyway, and that was gold hot glue just because I was making another project and I I had that in there, but it didn't matter on the back side of this. I do end up having to like um, squirt the rest of the gold out though for when I do put some stuff on the front here in a minute. But anyway, so there's the ears. I think they turned out so, 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 so cute. I just went ahead and touched them up with paint so they didn't look, you know, as plastic or whatever. Um, and then I touched up the rest of the board so it would look really nice and cohesive from the kind of front, side, back, all the things. And then I took uh, those two little square blocks and I put those on the bottom just to act as like a little bit of a stand. And I do end up putting two more on the back later. And then as you can see there, I took that nose off that bunny. That's from Dollar Tree last year, I believe. I don't think they have, I don't know if they have them this year. Hopefully, if you guys want to remake this, you'll, you can find a nose off of something maybe. Um, anyway, I just painted it pink because I wanted this to be like real cutesy and pink. And I wanted to put like a pink um, ribbon on it and stuff. So anyway, then I drew on the face or the mouth there with that Sharpie marker. And this part... This whole bunny actually took me probably like 45 minutes to get how I wanted it because I was going to make a, a ribbon and you'll see here in a little bit. I didn't end up doing that. So anyway, I took the raffia though and I was laying it out to check and see if I liked it for whiskers and I did. And then I just, I wanted the eyes to be black. So I just dabbed some black apple barrel paint onto those two little buttons with that um, paper towel. And as you can see there, the, the button eyes were a, a big no-no. They were not it. They were not cute. <laughs> That made me laugh, so I left it in here so you guys could see it. Um, anyway, then I just hot glued everything on, as you can see. And then I just took some light brown paint. I think it was called Chocolate Sprinkle by Apple Barrel. And I just very, very lightly dry brushed it across there. And then this is the part, like I told you guys, that took me forever to figure out. I made like four bows. Because I really wanted a bow on here. I don't know why. and But I didn't end up putting one on there. It might have looked cute with one like kind of offset there. But I just played and played and played with it. And I could not get a bow to work for me. So I ended up just leaving it without with no bow. And like I told you guys earlier, I put two little blocks on the back just to give that some more support. And it works out really good. And I end up putting this on the top of my tiered tray. And it's perfect. I love it so much. Okay, so this next one here is a thrift flip, and I just took those little houses and separated them. They were attached by a string. And then this took two coats, as you can see there in the other part I was showing you guys. I was putting the first coat on it the other day. Anyway, you could probably find something similar to this at Dollar Tree if you couldn't find something like this at a thrift store, but I feel like there's always this kind of stuff at thrift stores. Anyway, then I took this silkscreen stencil and just stenciled it with some pink. And then you can see here, I just dry brushed the rest of the house with pink. I didn't really know what I wanted to do for the roof, but I just decided that it looked really nice, the whole thing pink. And then here I took some raffia, pink raffia, and just hot glued a little bow on the front there. And then a little wooden heart from one of those little packets you can get from Dollar Tree. And here's a look at how that one turned out on my tiered tray. I think this might be one of my favorite tiered trays I've ever made. And then I found these little wooden crates at Dollar Tree. I finally found this kind 
I've never seen these ones. I've only ever found the ones with like the gaps in the middle. And I wanted to make, you know, the trend where people make the little book stack looking thing. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, wait, no. This one is a little flower arrangement, sorry. The book stack is next, so I went ahead and already gave you gave that one away for you guys. Anyway, I just made this little flower arrangement. I just went ahead and used some of that little straw looking stuff in the bottom, and then I had this piece of greenery, this long strand of garland, so I just went ahead and cut it up. It was out in my garage, so you can see dust flying off of it right here in this part of the video, so I'm sorry for that, but, you know, just keeping it real with you guys. So anyway, then I trimmed that up into like three little chunks there and just stuck it down in the box where I thought it looked nice. So I got all the greenery situated and then I had some of these scrap solo wood flowers from another project that I did and I just used them and the, cause they were like the perfect color that I already was going for for this tiered tray. Anyway, I just stuck those in there, you know, like it's pretty straightforward here. I just stuck a few of them on some little dowel rods that I had and I just arranged them really nicely and I just I wanted this to kind of look good from like front back and side so I just tried to make it look good each direction you know. Okay and then I also took this little wooden heart from Dollar Tree. These were from Valentine's Day I think last year but they always have this kind of stuff so anyway I just took um, some scrapbook paper and mod podged, mod podged it to the front and the back of this little heart. I wanted this pink on one side and then I wanted that burlap looking kind on the other side. That way I could like reverse it on my tiered tray if I, you know, whatever style I'm going with at the time. Okay, and then moving on to this little fake faux book stack like I already mentioned that I was going to make. Um, I just googled bunny quotes and I saw some bunny loves you. So I went ahead and put that on there with a Sharpie marker. You could totally probably use like some stickers for that if you wanted, or you could um, use your Cricut if you have one. If not though, I just like to write stuff sometimes. Anyway, and then I took this Baker's twine. I think that's what it's called. I think it's also from Dollar Tree. I'm not 100% positive though. And I just wrapped it around there like people do, you know, for these book stacks. And then I wanted this pretty little bow on the top. So I just did that, hot glued it there. That is from Dollar Tree too, that ribbon there. Then I just dry brushed it with some brown paint, of course, you know, have to make it look antique like. Okay, guys, and then here's a look at how this whole tiered tray turned out with everything together. And I'm actually like kind of obsessed with this. I don't know why I like this stuff so much, but anyway, I love it. I think it's so cute, but here is a look at the whole thing. All right, you guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments, especially of the bunny ears with the spatulas. But anyway, moving on to this last but not least, I took this um, Melissa and Doug toy box thing that my kids had from a toy, but they always lose the pieces. So I just keep these wooden things because they're very nice for like a little sign or whatever you want to do with them. Anyway, you could almost make a tiered tray out of them if you had more than one. Sorry, I just got that idea anyway i just took this glue and basically mod podged that scrapbook paper onto the back of it okay and then here i was just showing you guys a few ideas that i had like i had this bunny and then i had some extra flowers and i thought about putting them in there somehow but they just didn't really they just weren't really it for me today so i ended up taking these butterflies from dollar tree and i painted them with the buttercream paint and then I ended up hot gluing them onto the, the sign there. And I made a little bow. I just crisscrossed some ribbons that you can see there. And I just tied them together. And then I trimmed it up, fluffed it up, hot glued it on. And then there was this little cute sign for like nothing. Okay, and then here is a look at how this one turned out. And I honestly, I didn't think it was going to be my favorite. But I set it on top of a candlestick on top of my little cupboard. And I... I'm a, I, I love it. I love everything in today's video. And if you made it to the end of today's video, thank you so, so much. I greatly appreciate all of you who take the time out of your day to watch my videos. I, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me.